Hi guys, so welcome back. And today in this video, we are going to talk about how we can make use of the browser use to control our browsers with the power of artificial intelligence. We have already discussed about browser use like a couple of months before, but today we are going to talk about how we can make use of browser use along with the Google's model, which is the Gemini model. So we are going to make use of the Google's AI studio to create an authentication key, which is the API key to access the models. And we are going to see how we can make use of the browser use to work more perfectly with this model. If you remember a couple of months before when I released this uh, browser use video, I told that the browser use supports the open AI models pretty well, which is the GPT models pretty well. But now that the browser use has evolved so much that it can also support quite a lot of different models much, much better way because most of the models now supports the tooling. So this browser use has got support for all of these models as you can see over here. So you can just create uh, something like this, like OpenAI keys to specify the key of the OpenAI. You can also support, uh, it also supports the Anthropic API Cloud, uh, the Azure OpenAI endpoints, Gemini API key, as you can see, even DeepSeek is also supported. So everything is supported using this browser use right now. So we are going to see everything from the scratch. So before you get started with this browser use, the most important thing that we are going to be noticing in here is that the browser use actually um, runs in Python code. So it is a Python based library. So make sure that you have Python installed in your Windows or the Mac operating system. That is the only requirement that we really have to do. And once we have everything, you also need to sign up with the Google AI Studio. It's completely free for now. So you can just go ahead and sign up. The only thing is while you create an API key, you might need to incur some cost. But the good news is now the Gemini APIs uh, or the Gemini developers API pricing is quite low because they're just starting up uh, to compete with other uh, companies like Cloud or OpenAI, uh, something like that. So you can see that most of the models are currently free of charge as well. So for instance, you can see that the Gemini 2.5 flash preview model uh, is currently free of charge uh, uh, if you're just going to use it. And then you will see that it is going to be charging if you're going to exceed uh, the, the number of tokens tokens that you are you are not supposed to be using and you see that the Gemini 2.5 preview uh, is free of charge but you need to use this um, Gemini 2.5 Pro uh, EXP 0325 so this is the model that we need to use as a name for that we can try out this one and see how it works and you can also see that Gemini 2.0 flash is also free of charge uh, I mean there is a limit but if you exceed that limit then it is going to be charged and you're going to get an exception something like that so you can see that all these models are mostly free of charge as well well, uh, but again, it's set a limit, and if you exceed that limit, it is going to be paid pretty much like the OpenAI. But the OpenAI models, you, if you use the GPT model, it is always paid. So you have to top up the money on that particular model uh, on the on the OpenAI platform before you even use the model. That is the a caveat there. But here with Google, we don't really have such caveat. So you can just go ahead and create the API key. So I have already signed up to the AI Studio uh, Google.com. So if you just do that, uh, and if you just go see that there is this uh, get api key link over here and i have already created an api key you can create an api key something like this and you can create a project but i have created a gemini uh, api project something like this and this is the api key that i have got i can go ahead and copy that i can reuse that every single time see that the plan currently i'm using is the free plan really so i'm not really using any paid plan as such well, as that said, this is all the setup from the Google side that we have to do. And now we have to see how we can uh, uh, initiate or instantiate the browser use uh, libraries and then run the browser test from there. So in order to do that, all we need to do is just go to any of the favorite terminal that you have got. And I'm going to say uh, browser use uh, test uh, demo. And then I'm going to just use... Uh, demo and then I'm going to open the Visual Studio code just uh, for a quick introduction like if you have seen my earlier videos I was using the uh, Langchain OpenAI for the chat OpenAI model and I also showed like how you can write the code for the um, the OpenAI models the models that we were using was the GPT 4.0 model which is the paid version of the GPT model and I've also set everything like the API keys in the ENV file but now we are going to use the uh, the Gemini model. So we are going to use a different library this time. That is the only change that we are going to be doing. And again, uh, you have to learn a 
bit about the lang chain in this place if you are really curious about learning the lang chain uh, like because you can see here we are using the lang chain uh, libraries to perform this operation lang chain is a library which is going to be helping you to interact with the large language models uh, like in this case the chat open ai you can also uh, interact with the chat uh, gemini api and also uh, anthropic cloud uh, and deep seek something like that so everything has been supported with the lang chain for you so if you really wanted to learn even more about lang chain uh, just head over to my course over here uh, in udemy where i have talked about uh, build and test ai agents chatbots rags with olama and local large language model so this course actually uses uh, lang chain uh, and lang smith to perform all the different operations that we are going to be discussing even in this particular video so this is quite a good course because it has got all the details that you need to understand how you can uh, build uh, and uh, your own uh, rag agent or your own chat boards or your own uh, uh, like um, the like the agent for that matter so you can build everything from the ground up using this particular course you can also test uh, things using uh, this particular course it's also available in udemy for business so if you have an udemy for business plan you can enroll this course for free well as i said we are going to see how we can write the same exact kind of code for the gemini and because we have opened a new instance of visual studio over here i'm going to do everything from the scratch so i'm going to open a terminal over here all you have to do is just do command shift prompt or control shift uh, p uh, for the uh, for the windows user in the uh, in the visual studio code uh, and then you need to create a virtual environment for the python because it is more more like a folder which has all the dependencies required for you to be installed so i'm going to be just doing uh, the python uh, 3.12 whatever name that i want to give and then i'm going to give hyphen m v n v uh, and the name of the virtual environment so this is going to create a virtual environment for me and you can see that it has been created uh, and i don't see any of the libraries sitting over here as you can see but the moment I uh, install any of the package, it is going to install everything on that particular folder. But before that, I also need to source the uh, virtual environment so that it is going to activate to this particular source for me. And once we have this, we are going to install a series of libraries. The libraries are nothing but these, as you can see. So I'm going to install the Langchain uh, Google AI, Gen AI. So this is the library which is going to install the uh, Google's uh, chat uh, model things. And then we're going to use the uh, install the browser use because that is something we require. And also I'm going to uh, install the Python uh, DNV to read the ENV file for the API keys that we are going to be uh, placing over there. So all these libraries are quite an important important libraries for us to uh, to talk with the browser use and also use the models which is the open ai's uh, which is the sorry the gen ai uh, models of the google gemini and also the python.env file to read the env file uh, from our folder over here so basically while i say env file i'm actually going to create a file over here like .env and this is the file which i'm going to be reading for the api keys so you'll you will notice everything is going to come up in live pretty, pretty soon but the moment i hit this enter over here you see that now the the virtual environment that we have is going to have all the libraries that we have asked to install it's going to appear over here as you can see you see that see how many packages are being installed within your virtual environment which is amazing so this is more like a local repository of all your uh, dependencies like all the libraries that is required for you to work with uh, your uh, your code that you're going to be writing and once we have this code we then need to set up the uh, env file with the api key as i told you so the api key is actually sitting over here so i'm gonna go uh, copy this uh, api key and for the api key uh, we need to specify the the name of the uh, the api key which is the gemini underscore uh, api key so i'm gonna say uh, gemini underscore api underscore key and the key is going to be this one so don't put double quotes for your key you just have to put the key directly over there so this is the thing i'm just going to double check if i'm not messing around there we go that's the key that we have got and it's in the env file so we can read the env file automatically uh, because we have installed this uh, this package called as python hyphen dot env which is going to read from the env file for us all right so now that we have done all the necessary setup and now we have to write the code so i'm going to say uh, first browser use test.py for the python uh, extension over there 
So even if you go to the browser use website, you can see that they have got an example of how you can uh, run this particular code over there. So you can just copy that and you can paste it over here. This code is just gonna work fine. Uh, but because we are gonna be using the Google's Gemini model, uh, you you just need to change the, the entire library that we are gonna be using over here. So we are gonna use the chat Google um, generative AI. So this is the one that we really need to use over here. And you see that the moment I change this to uh, chat Google Gemini, uh, generative AI, you see that now the uh, AI, which is sitting in my Visual Studio, which is the co-pilot, is suggesting me that I need to modify from the chat open AI that I have specified over here to chat Google generative AI. See, AI is writing code for AI. So I'm going to go say tab which is going to accept the change for me over here that is the only change that i need to do and instead of the uh, langchain uh, open ai i need to use the uh, langchain's uh, google's uh, gen ai over here that's the only thing that i need to change other than that the code just remains pretty much exactly the same that i have got over there as i told you uh, we're going to change the model um, which is the uh, which is the premium model or the Pro preview model. So I can try to use this particular model. So I'm going to copy this model. And in the model, instead of the GPT 4.0 model, I'm going to use the Gemini model. And I'm going to set the temperature to point, uh, just point 0, 0.0. So I'm just going to say accurate. Uh, and then I'm going to leave everything as it is over there. I'm going to save it. And instead of doing uh, this kind of coding, uh, like comparing the price, I'm actually going to copy some of the code that I have already written, the prompt that I have already written, and I'm going to paste that particular prompt. I'll go copy that prompt, um, and I'm probably going to paste it uh, over here. And let's uncomment it. This is exactly the same prompt that I have even used uh, in my earlier video. Uh, and over here, I'm just going to say prompt. Right, so this prompt is basically saying, go to this particular website and perform a login, then create a new user with some realistic data, then log off uh, from the site. This is what I'm really telling. I'm just gonna give an instruction that this is the thing that you have to perform uh, using the browser use for me, right? So once I have everything in here, now the code is just going to run. See, the code is very, very straightforward. So this is gonna invoke an agent, uh, which is the agent coming all the way from our browser use, as you can see. Uh, and then we're gonna pass a task, which is the prompt, as you can see over here. And we're gonna set the LLM or the large language model, which is the Google's generative AI uh, model uh, or the large language model. And then we're gonna run this particular agent. That's what we are really doing in this particular code. And because it's an asynchronous code, we have to use this async IO run uh, to run this particular main method. And now I'm gonna run this code and I'm gonna see what is gonna really happen. So in order to run this, I'm just gonna say Python uh, and then first browser test.py and I'm gonna hit enter. And you see that the moment I hit enter over here, it is going to open the browser for me as you can see over here. So it's gonna launch the eaapp.somi.com website and you see that the browser use is just gonna kick in. So it is gonna do a login and then it's gonna go create a new user because we told uh, to create a new user. You see that now it's trying to enter the admin uh, and the uh, admin as the password. And now it's gonna go to the uh, manage user uh, and it is seeing that if there is a way that it can create any user and there is no way. So now it is going to the create new probably and you see that it has went there. And now it is going to enter the details for the, the user. And it is so immediate that it is uh, doing it for us over there. And it is entering all the details and it has created the user. Uh, and now it is going to do a log off if it could. There we go. It's all done, really. So it's all happening with the free model of the uh, the Google Gemini that we have got. And you see that the, all the informations are also being shown for us over here. So this is all happening because we have configured the Google uh, Gemini model, as you can see over here, and it's all just working fine for us. So this is the power of the browser use and also the power of Langchain and the Google's generative AI model that we have got, which is doing all the magic for us over here. And now because we have used this particular model so if you just go to the view uh, uh, usage uh, data over here it is going to show us the usage that we have done for that particular api uh, over here so the, the cost 
uh, as you can see over here, there is a very, very less cast uh, involved over here. You see that uh, it's not really anything. So if I just see the last one hour, the total, uh, the total uh, number of the usage we have done is just this much over there, which is nothing really comparatively. And uh, it's not really going to cost us anything as well, which is quite straightforward. And this is how you can make use of the uh, the, uh, the the Google's AI studio uh, to create an API key and also make use of the browser used to write an automation test or even run an automation test for you without even charging you even a single uh, cost, like single dollar or anything like that. So that's it, guys. This is how we can make use of the browser used to perform all these operations. And I hope you like the way that how we can make use of the existing resources or, or available free resources to do automation testing. Once again, thank you so much for watching this video and you guys have a great day.